everyone to this celebration from Levert House of the class of 2020, the class that will shape a new future. I'm Brian Farrell, and together with Irina Ferreras, we're honored to be your faculty deans. Today, we were looking forward to march with you to the yard to congregate in Memorial Church and Tercentenary Theater and proudly parade back to Leverett and in front of your family and friends to present you with a diploma that symbolizes what you've achieved. No one else could have imagined we would find ourselves here today under these circumstances. When our community dispersed, goodbyes with friends were hurried, treasured traditions were foregone, and the time we thought we would have to celebrate together was cut short. You did not have the opportunity or slow of goodbyes, the final get together around the houses, around the square. The meets performances, presentations, games and matches. Your certainty felt sad, angry, scared, tired, confused. We felt these things too. We have watched your land grown and work hard these past few years, and we are all disappointed that your time at Harvard could not finish as planned. Many of you, your families and loved ones, have experienced conditions unthought of before, using internet from a parking lot, or with parents who are essential workers and risking their lives on the front lines, or are sickened, or worse. There are other unexpected things too, the earth is quieter than before. Even the planet is shivering less with the slowing of human activity. Even the planet is signaling the need for change. The air is purer. The waters are cleaner. Species thought to be extinct are showing their faces. This pandemic has exposed problems ignored for too long. It has also revealed some opportunities to turn the world at towers a more humane and healthy future. This is your moment. The crisis has made more visible the inequalities in our society. The workers who are really essential are now seen most clearly. Those who support everyone else, the laborers, the drivers, the providers, the cleaners, caregivers, and healers. You are the class that graduated during the pandemic that shook the world. And your stories are just beginning. With a Harvard education, you can affect great changes, as Harvard graduates always have. But the difference is, you have a unique moment in history when your influence will be greater than ever possible before. Take a step towards each other and towards the world you imagine. But before you leap, let's use these quiet moments to stay still and allow our inner voices to guide us. In spite of all that has happened and is happening today, we are joined together from all over the world to celebrate each of you. We are also celebrating what comes next. You will set off in different directions for new places and new life to make a difference. For the past three years, Lever has been your home, and we all, students, tutors, staff, and faculty deans, are going to miss your presence and engagement in our community very, very much. Your left, your mark, this is your house forever, and we are here for you. So please, please enjoy the special quality of this day the day of transformation from undergraduate and a citizen of Leverett House to Harvard College graduate and citizen of the world. As alumni of Harvard, you will always have a connection with this place. As alumni of Leverett, you have become an indelible part of the spirit of our house. We look forward to your return to Cambridge to celebrate together in person one day soon. Before we start naming of Library House graduates, a word to thank our staff. Our staff have been steadfast in their support of your students before and throughout the pandemic in ways visible and invisible. We thank resident deans Catherine Shapiro and Bilal Malik, academic coordinator Kim Golko, 
and house administrator, Amy Valeri, our resident tutors, our dining hall manager, Ed Shanley, head chef, Kathleen Smith Orsonio, Lenny Dorch and Von Lee Kimball, and the rest of our HUD staff. Our custodial staff, Jean, Oscar, Maria, Mauro, Everett, and our building manager, the inimitable Paul Hegarty. And so, from all of us at Leverett House, to our class of 2020, congratulations. congratulations! And finally, I'd like to share a poem written by Walt Whitman in 1865 who had experienced firsthand as a nurse the horrific toll of the Civil War on this country. We feel this is a poem appropriate to the day. Long Too Long America. Long Too Long America, traveling roads all even and peaceful, you learned from joys and prosperity only. But now, ah now, to learn from crises of anguish, advancing, grappling with direst fate, and recoiling not. And now to conceive and show to the world what your children en masse really are. For who except myself has yet conceived of what your children en masse really are? Now, words from our class speaker, Cecil Williams. In high school, I was a three-sport varsity athlete in an international baccalaureate program. I finished top of my class as a freshman, started on varsity in three sports as a sophomore, and committed to play football for Harvard as a junior. But two weeks into my senior year, I got injured and watched the life I had so carefully crafted crumble before my eyes. Surgery sidelined me for the season. I fell behind in my classes, and instead of getting into Harvard, I was asked to do a postgraduate year at a prep school. The senior year of my dreams came to a devastating close. But the postgraduate year was an obligatory break from the hamster wheel I had known for as long as I could remember. I suddenly found that there was no longer a laundry list of things I had to do, only a list of things I wanted to do. I began to explore interests that I had not previously made time for. I joined the school choir, I acted in plays, I volunteered, I started a language club, I rediscovered my love for reading, and I began to write. The newfound free time gave me room to ask myself what truly matters and why. And the answers I found helped me live with a greater sense of purpose. By the time the year was over, I felt assured enough to chart my own path. Right now it feels like the senior year of our dreams has come to a devastating end. In the last couple months, many of us have seen the lives we've so carefully crafted crumble before our eyes. We've lost many of the things that once made us happy. Our dorms, our dining halls, our affinity groups and social spaces. We've lost the most unforgettable months of college. And some of us have lost jobs and loved ones. At times, it might feel like we've lost our sense of direction. But where one path ends, another begins. Let us not allow this letdown to define us. Let us instead allow it to create us. Let us explore new beginnings within ourselves. Let us chase our muses. Let us live. And in doing so, let us build a world that gives life to all. To the Leverett class of 2020, thank you, and I wish you great peace. Dr. Mike. And now a few words from our resident dean, Catherine Shapiro. Hello, Bilal Malik, who is your resident dean for most of your time here, and I as your resident dean for your ultimate term here, both want to congratulate you on your graduation. You know, in some ways, thinking about the whole class, you've had very different experience and disparate ones. You've concentrated in different subjects, pursued different electives, chosen different constellations of friends, 
and were drawn to different extracurricular pursuits. In other ways, you've all had similar experiences here. Seven or eight completed terms at Harvard, each about 13 weeks long, with a week reading period, etc. From sophomore year on, you always had faculty deans and a resident dean and Leverett House. You knew when one term ended and another began. You were all subject to the rules of the college and the honor code. One's last term in college is often a time of introspection, apprehension, slightly premature nostalgia, as students face outward toward a world which is less predictable, less protected, one which you might like better than college or worse. You probably don't even know. Your term on campus this spring was cut short and I know this has truncated the goodbyes and the celebrations and introduced more uncertainty into your postgraduate plans. I, for one, was looking forward to looking out at all of you seated in the courtyard, sweating gently in your regalia, each wondering which genius came up with the mortar board hat. But whatever you do, you'll find yourself embedded within a structure, one that has rules and mores and sociologies that you will need to operate within. You may Try to have a few, to have to try a few to, to find which ones really suit you. And I advise you to keep the following in mind. These structures and agendas and deadlines are important, but they do not define who you are and what you wish to contribute as Rakesh's citizens and citizen leaders. Notice them, work within them if you can, ethically and productively, but pay attention to the larger business of constructing your life and your happiness and fulfillment. I'm reminded from a, of a passage from a classic text many of you may have read when you were younger, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Leangle. If you haven't read the book, don't watch the movies. Trust me on this one. And I'd like to read you a short passage from it. So the setting for Wrinkle in Time is that the protagonist, Meg, is preparing to return to a totalitarian word, totalitarian world, that's harder to say than you think, Kamazots try to rescue her little brother. Meg and her friend Calvin have been aided up to this point by three supernatural beings, Mrs. Who, Mrs. Witch, and Mrs. Watson. Calvin asks Mrs. Watson if the happy medium, yet another supernatural being, thinks the rescue mission would be, will be successful. Mrs. Watson says, I have to acknowledge quite openly that it may be a danger. I know this, but I do not believe it. And the happy medium doesn't believe it either. Can't she see what's going to happen, Calvin said. Oh, not in this kind of thing. Mrs. Watson sounds surprised at his question. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd be like the people on Camazots with no lives of our own and everything all planned and done for us. How can I explain it to you? Oh, I know. In your language, you have a form of po poetry called the sonnet. Yes, yes, Calvin said impatiently. What's that got to do with a happy medium? kindly pay me the courtesy of listening to me. Mrs. Watson's voice was stern and for a moment Calvin stopped pawing the ground like a nervous colt. It is a very strict form of poetry, is it not? Yes. There are 14 lines, I believe, all in iambic pentameter. That's a very strict rhythm or meter. Yes? Yes. Calvin nodded. And each line has to end with a rigid, rigid rhyme pattern. And if the poet does not do it exactly this way, it is not a sonnet, is it? No. But within this strict form, the poet has complete freedom to say whatever he wants, doesn't he? Yes, Calvin nodded again. So, said Mrs. Watson. So what? Oh, do not be stupid, boy, said Mrs. Watson scolded. You know perfectly well I'm driving at. You mean you're comparing our lives to a sonnet, a strict form, but freedom within it? Yes. Mrs. Watson said. You're given the form, but you have to write the sonnet yourself. What you say is completely up to you. I wish every good thing for you. Um, I wish your sonnets to be beautiful and poignant and full of adventure and love. And I hope you'll stay in touch with your family and friends here at Leverett. Congratulations, class of 2020. And now we are proceeding with the reading of the graduates' names. Amelia 
Marianne Apgar, Alexander Barrett, Jonathan Bamel, Samuel E. Benkelman, Elizabeth Rose Bernstein, Abigail Bloomfield, Brandon Buell, Julia Buntamine, Zachary Upton Buttonweiser, Diana Caluti, Margaret Kennedy, Tancredi Castellano Pucci di Barcento, Vanessa Catania, Audrey Chan, Rachel Flynn Collins, Noah Diver Kominsky, Wesley Cook, Diego Covarrubias, Lincoln Craven Brightman, Juan Pedro Crestanello, Matthew David Stavertlik, Raul Cuevas Pelayo, Piers Maxwell Teitler Deeth Stellen, Caroline Diggins, Eva Storm Diani Miller. Robert Alexander Dorfman, Voita Dermota, Robert Drysdale, Nick Durham, Julia Edspar. Julia Olivia Efron, Dodi Eid, Dan Stefan Anicheku, Matthew Zach Farber, McKinley Thomas Fitzpatrick. Esteban Roberto Flores, Amalia Frona, Basina Jadita Ganther, Frank Garland, Mariana Garza. Joseph Lee Goodman, Lana Gorlinski, Amanda Gorman, Yorma Gerns, Larry Jaho Gu. Emanuela Gualandri, Yuri Ha, Ashley Nicole Hamilton, George Hahn, Hannah Harris. 
Isabel Hamilton Ha. Sagan Helly. Alyssa Heiner. Remington Gray Hill. Ursula Hisham. Genevieve Hu. Sean Hughes. Hayden Joy. Rachel Khan. Surya Kandaswamy. Ryan Timothy Kapoor. Martha Kebe. Thomas Donovan Keene. Anina Kennedy Yoon. Charlotte Kim. Peter Kim. Margaret Cairn. Cameron Klein. Noah Knopf. Christian Cade Knox. Billy Coach. Abhijit Krishnan. Catherine Krolicki. Madeline La Puerta. Jennifer J. Wan Lee. Elena Lopez. Irene Liu. Samuel Raymond Lurie. Henry Lynch. Max Maingum. Sophia Marie Masha. Lauren Elizabeth Mayer. Christian Hapuku MacArthur. Lindsay Tulin McAuliffe. Haley McBride. Vaughn McDonald. James Kavanaugh McIntyre. Brogan Michael McPartland. Adam McGeed. Luke Meles Kiriazi. Marvin Lawrence Merritt IV. Mona Miao. Luke Francisco Minton. Miranda Mize Escura. Anna Montalvo Landivar. Rosa Morona. Alfred Miles Newman III. Philippe Noel. Cecilia Andrea Jennings Nunez. Kira Elise O'Brien. 
Christopher Gore Patvakanian Alison Pakin Michael Perus Michael Jonathan Phillips Sadhana S. Panaluri Kai Potter Elizabeth Ann Prezioso Vashan Puhalendran Vivian Chang William Radigan Dylan R. Rice Bianca Yanelli Rodriguez Anne A. Rosenblatt Jessica Marie Scazzaro Michael Scott Gabriela Josefa Siegel Mackenzie Smith Madeline Rose Snow Chinme Sonowane Ria Sood Ben Sorkin Nicholas E. Stauffer Mason John Colin Stivers Cody Stremick Nikhil Aditya Suri Filippos Illyrion Sitilides Angela Tang K. Eli Nikhil Thiel Madison Thompson Alexander James Timmerman Chandler Ann Torres Pagan Alexander Troba Jessica Tsang Drew Dennis Tucker Alexandra M. A. Ubalejoro Sofia Vargas Angelica Varona Rosa Lisbeth Vasquez Gutierrez Laura Vera Ramirez Arjun Verma Janelle Villarreal Akanksha Vora Kalina Wang Yueting Lucy Wong Max Robinson Weiss Cecil Owens Williams II Jessica Renee Williams Lucy Wilmot Isabel Wu Michael Shia 
Amanda Yang, Victor Yang, Kevin Jiwon Yun, Andrew James Zucker. Farewells from the tutors and staff. Congratulations, love seniors. We're so excited for all of you, and it has been such an honor to get to know you. You all have truly been amazing contributors to the Leverett community. We're gonna miss you a lot, but we can't wait to see what the future has in store for each and every one of you. Remember that you're always welcome here, so please come back and visit. Hi, bunnies. I wish I could be with all of you today. We can't control the time or the circumstances that we were born into, but we can control how we respond to those circumstances. We can choose to refocus ourselves on serving others, on fighting injustice, and on building a better world. You can do it. I believe in you. Congratulations to all of the Leverett seniors, and congratulations especially to those who have struggled over the past few weeks. Because of unreliable internet, crowded homes, family burdens, or the loneliness and anxiety of distance. Today, you graduated from Harvard, and that is a victory that you will always carry with you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is the strangest commencement ever, but I'm so happy for you and I'm proud of you all. You should be proud of yourself. I wish you the greatest things that life can ever offer, and please come back and visit. Right now, I'll give you a virtual hug, congratulations, but if you come back, we'll get you a real hug. When we can touch each other. See you, bye. All right, class of 2020, congratulations. You've been a huge part of our lives over the last three years, and we're sad that we had to split so early this spring. But we think that owning this experience will actually bond you as a class. As a Harvard graduate myself, I can honestly say that you will have more time together as a class than you can probably imagine right now. Um, so don't forget that what doesn't happen in your lives is just as important as what does. Hindsight is yours for the making, 2020. Congratulations. congratulations. Hey, Love Class of 2020, congratulations. I am so unbelievably grateful to have been able to spend the last couple of years together and to call you my graduating class because we'll be on the same reunion cycle and we'll be able to celebrate many, many times in the years to come. I'm very proud of each and every one of you and I hope you're spending today surrounded by love and feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment that you all deserve very, very much. Greetings, graduating seniors. This semester has truly shown us that you're all trailblazers. The world is right for your innovation, creativity, and energy, and we are so excited to see all that you will accomplish. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, Lev 2020. Happy graduation. It's been so great to get to know you during these past three years in Leverett. I hope that you appreciate today. I hope that you celebrate with your family and your friends. And I also hope that you take time for yourself to reflect on your time at Harvard and get excited for all the great things that are coming next. I look forward to staying in touch and seeing what you do. Happy graduation. Leverett class of 2020, congratulations. This moment of celebration doesn't look like what you or we imagined, but it is no less momentous. The world needs you more than ever, and we are so proud of all of you. Love, love. Class of 2020, congratulations. It has been such an immense honor and privilege to get to know you during your time here, whether during conversations in the dining hall, during your thesis presentations, or while taking in one of your musical performances, you all have inspired me. I hope you have some time today to reflect on the experiences you've had and the relationships you've built. But I hope even more you carry the same level of energy and passion forward with you to have the impact on the world that I know you will have. And remember, wherever your journeys may take you, you will always have a home here in Leverett. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, love seniors, for making it through this historic semester. We're so proud of you. Good luck out there. Stay healthy. Have fun. Go change the world. Hi, class of 2020. I just want to say congratulations to all of you for making it to this day. Graduating college is such an important part of your lives, 
and I want to say how grateful I am to have shared it with you. I hope that every single one of you and your families are proud of what you've done and are able to celebrate on this day, even if it's from afar. Please don't hesitate to come back and visit once this is all over. I can't wait to see you. Hi seniors, you made it. Congratulations on finishing college. What a momentous occasion. We wish that we were there to celebrate it with you. We're sad that this is a final goodbye, but we're excited and hopeful about your futures and thankful for the times, both good and challenging, we've shared during the past few years. We greatly admire your adaptability and resolve during these difficult times. And so we wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Always be you and always be true. We will miss you and hope that you'll come to visit us sometime soon in the future. Hey seniors, congratulations. This is an incredible day and I hope you feel really proud about having reached it and all of the amazing things that you've done at Harvard. While I'm gonna miss seeing you around Leverett House, best of luck out there in the real world and please keep in touch. Hey seniors, congratulations to all of you. No matter the circumstances, uh, you've achieved something outstanding, something huge over the last four years and last semester, and we are very proud of you. Also, we are very sorry that we can't celebrate this moment uh, together with you right now, but um, I very much hope that uh, your left memories and uh, left moments can at least somehow make up for that. And I'm sure when things are back to normal, we will indeed have a very, very big party and uh, we'll celebrate you. And in the meantime, go out there and change the world. I know that you will. And uh, please keep in touch. Bye. Hi, love seniors. Congratulations. Before and during Harvard, you have made history in your own ways as the first. The first in your family or your school to attend Harvard, or the first to study and work on some completely new discovery. And what's special about today is how collectively you've become the first. You're the very first Harvard class to fully learn and graduate online. You're also the very first graduating cohort of the decade. I know you'll inspire us by seizing and creating new opportunities from this day on. So dream big, and most importantly, take good care of each other and yourselves. Class of 2020, you are graduating in a truly momentous time. Let the same drive, dedication, and ingenuity that got you here in the first place to this moment through all of the ups and downs. Bring it with you as you move on to the next chapter to bigger, better, and bolder things. This community, this nation, this world is so excited for what you will bring. Graduating class, congratulations. Congratulations, Leverett Class of 2020. It has been a joy getting to know you over the past three years. Thank you to all of your families for sharing you with us. Today is a very special day, and I hope that you are able to celebrate all of the amazing accomplishments that went into this amazing milestone for you. I hope that you stay in touch with us, and please always remember that your key always works here at your Leverett home. Hi, Lever Seniors. Congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment. Um, this is obviously not how we expected to be spending this day, but we're all victims of fate, um, and that none of that takes away from the enormity of what you just achieved. So you should feel really, really proud of yourselves for making it through four full years of Harvard undergrad. Um, that's not an easy feat at all. Congratulations. Um, I look forward to all of the great things that so many of you will do. Keep in touch. Um, and I hope to see some of you in the not too distant future. Congratulations again. Leverett seniors, you are truly a unique class. Not everyone can say they graduated in a pandemic. Your ability to make the best of the situation attests to your immense personal strength. If we can give you one piece of advice, be kind to yourselves. You are all amazing, intelligent, and accomplished individuals. You should be proud of yourselves at all you've achieved at Harvard. We thank you for all that you've taught us, all the generosity and patience you've shown to our children, and the millions of ways that you've inspired us. We can't wait to hear the incredible things that you will do. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. Hi, everyone. Enjoy this glorious day. You deserve it. We're incredibly proud of you. We look forward to seeing you here again next year. Stay in touch, and congratulations. Now, Words from our class speaker, Luke Minton. For many of us, there was a point when our Harvard dream began. 
For me, it was during some endless summer playing on the sidewalks of West Texan suburbia, enveloped by mockingbird song and sprinkler mist which scarcely escaped the nozzle before evaporating. From that point, long before we set foot on campus, we spent hours beyond measure planning and hoping for the opportunity to reach this moment. None of us could have foreseen then the particular way our commencement would unfold. Some of us have now returned to the sights and sounds which molded us, from desert mountains to urban skyscrapers. Others, thousands of miles from home, are living in the monasterial placidity of campus. No matter our location, we all feel poignantly right now the importance of the people in our lives in creating our college experience, and it's easy to feel a sense of loss that the commencement we have is not the one that we envisioned. When I first started dreaming that Harvard dream, I saw college as an escape from El Paso, my hometown. Now, back among those singing mockingbirds, I can't help but remember the morning when so many in the Leverett community comforted me as I sat in this very room after the mass shooting which took place here. Memories of my hometown are as much a component of my Leverett experience as the countless nights in the dining hall I spent completing some procrastinated assignment. The Leverett community is not bound to a specific location. The true value of our education lies in the diversity of our backgrounds and our connections with each other. Something obscured when we focus too much on a ritualization of campus space. Among Harvard houses, Leverett perhaps uniquely represents this ideal. John Leverett the Elder came to Cambridge as a destitute indentured servant and fought tirelessly for religious liberty in Massachusetts. John Leverett the Younger, Harvard's first secular president, is said to have founded its tradition of liberal arts breaking from Puritan orthodoxy. In a school constructed on a bedrock of Anglo-Saxon Protestant male formation, I could sit in our dining hall and talk to other Leverett residents with whom I shared something, an interest in computer science, the experience of being a Latino Texan, or my Catholic faith that would have been impossible to find at Harvard at the time of its founding. No matter the current situation of our world and the uncertainties of the near future, we still have these connections, and we will take them into our adult lives. We also have the distinctive beauty of our personal backgrounds. Like the Leverets, now memorialized among their Puritan rivals, we will soon enter the larger world, labeled in part by our Harvard education and all the prestige it carries. That label, however, is far too broad to capture the breadth and individuality of our own experiences. Physically separate from each other, we have the opportunity to imbue into our memories of today the uniqueness of our own journeys, just like the birds singing outside my window even now. Our uniqueness gives us the individual perspective necessary to change the world in our own special way. Today, we cannot celebrate in the same space, but let's resolve to celebrate wherever and with whomever we are, not just graduation itself, but the people and experiences which make each of our stories unique. Congratulations, class of 2020.